That's a little bit better. I do want to hear if my wife needs to talk to me or something. So, important in case I get called to duty. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, so for those who have been following and for those who haven't, um, give you guys an update here. Uh, I've been working in some blender. Blender 3D. Making the big switch over uh, from Maya um, to Blender for my personal work. Um, for I'm sure of you, uh, sure many of you can understand the reasons why I would do that. One mainly the cost. It's just a lot cheaper. Blender's free. Maya is not. I mean, I can get Maya LT. Um, but I was like, you know what? I think it's about time that I s at least give um, Blender a fair shot. Again, I'll do a vlog video uh, sometime this weekend on this week and um, how this week has been working in Blender and the transition and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, so let's let's just wrap this up. Um, so first and foremost, let's. Uh, Almost done UVing this. Um, I do need to, to post up the video from this morning's stream. I had a chance to stream this morning as well. No cam, no mic though, unfortunately. I had my cousin sleeping in the living room and I didn't want to wake her up. Um, so yeah. Um, so right now, I'm debating what I want to do here when it comes to... Do I want to put everything into one texture sheet, or if I want to separate these things out into a different, into a different, um, into different textures? Um, so I'm just going to look at all the UVs here and uh, see um, kind of how everything's laid out. Now, something that I do want to, if someone knows how to dim this image here, that be greatly appreciated if someone knows how to do that because currently it is because um, currently right now it's um, it's really bright so I, I would love to know Am I using cycles? No. For this, I'm going to be using... Uh, what's up, by the way? Uh, thank you for joining. Um, I'm going to be using Marmoset. Uh, actually, yeah, I should probably load it up. A lot of people are probably going to see this. Um, again, I'm pretty new to Blender. Uh, I've Professionally, I use Maya. Uh, so this has been my first week so far in Blender. Um, so this is my kind of like my little setup here in Marmoset. Um, I've heard great things about cycles, and I've seen really good renders on, on ArtStation and stuff like that on cycle on cycle rendering. Um, but uh, because I'm a video game artist, um, I mean, I should be throwing things into Unreal or a game engine. But uh, for me, it's for personal work. I just want something that's quick and can give me um, results right away. And Marmoset is really good for that. Um, but yeah, I would love to know how to dim this because I know in, uh, for example, Maya, you can just, uh, there's a little button that just dims the image so you can see your UVs a little bit more clear. Um, yeah, because this is just really hard to see. Um, I mean, I guess I could just put it to a blank and if I want to see it. Um, this one is even harder to see. Um, but it'd be cool uh, if... 
if there is a way. Uh, something that I've noticed uh, using Blender for um, a few days now is every time I got into I got um, stuck with something, I kept saying to myself, "I can't believe Blenders can't do X thing," and then I would f Google and I would search it, and it can. Um, 90% of the time it can do what Maya can do it's just it's placed somewhere different so you have to like and it might be called something different so um, so yeah that's something that I've kind of learned as well um, along my way here uh, working in uh, blender so I'm thinking this cartridge like there's still a lot of space here um, does it warrant being in the same texture sheet as the controller? That's questionable. Um, let's look at let, let's let's take a look at the controller here. Um, let's go to default. Let's select uh, the controller. Select hierarchy, and let's go to. The, Editing, and let's just right. Let's go edit. Right, so I mean, I should probably just lay these all out. And I also wish that I can edit more than one piece at a time. Um, it's kind of annoying that I can't right now. Hold on, let me just move a bunch of this stuff. Um, like it, it would be nice uh, to be able to select all these and then be able to to work on it all right like actually tab in and edit a lot of it but that's not really a thing um that at least from my knowledge at least um and the only way to actually work on these uh that i found out is um let's go back to default here uh so if i go to s select select hierarchy um, if I uh, join it, so combine it essentially in, in Maya terms. Um, so now it's just one, now it's just one piece, right? Wait, is it? No, it's not. Okay. Um, okay, hold on. Select hierarchy, shift I to isolate select. Um, select everything. Um, control J. You think it is better idea to learn Maya to make professional jobs? Oh, any 3D program is worth it for that. Um, I think what you're trying to say is, uh, do I think it's better idea to learn Maya to make professional jobs? Um, or does any 3D program uh, good for that? I think that's what you're trying to say. Um, in my opinion, it really depends, right? Like, if you're, if you're just a, a an like a hobbyist, right? Like you're just doing this for fun. Um, I mean, there's the Maya student versions, right? That you can get. Um, there's Blender, right? Like if you're just doing it for fun, just get into it, right? Just pick a 3D program. Just learn the workflow because it doesn't matter what 3d software you use right as if you know how to 
how to do good modeling in any 3d software package that knowledge is going to transfer no matter what program you use so if you're just um, doing it for fun just pick a program um, the reason why I would recommend Maya um, out of the other ones is because Maya is like used like everywhere that being said though uh, Maya is probably the biggest learning curve out of all of the software because it's just super clunky it's old like it's super old right old as in it's been around for a very long time and they haven't changed to make the program more intuitive whereas like programs like moto is a little bit more artist friendly um so yeah so i mean i don't know if that answers your question or not but in my opinion if it's to make if it's for professional work then i say yes definitely the three major software programs so 3d studio max moto maya are the three that you want to hit what i really like about blender right now is this right here um i love M blender and the fact that you can that you can use maya presets because professionally i use maya at work and so when i'm hopping between maya and blender right now it's not like my head is not spinning because um, the controls are exactly the same or 90% of the controls are the exact same so that really helps out a lot so whoever um, made these Maya preset things in, in Blender is just good job buddy really really appreciate it um, okay so this is the controller um, I'm gonna add so I'm gonna join that and I'm gonna join this as well. Now, what is this? Uh, oh, these are the buttons on the side that I haven't been clicking. Um, so I'm gonna join these as well. And then what's this one? Yeah. So what's this? Yeah. So yes, I'm just gonna join all of these together. Okay. So now it's just one object. Also, do you mind letting me know how my audio levels are? Is it too loud? Is the music too loud? Is my mic too loud? Um, that'd be greatly appreciated um, if you could do that for me. Awesome. Uh, so I don't know what this fog came from. I'm just going to delete it. And we're just going to have everything as um, one here. Uh, these Bulls tools, I'll be honest with you, I haven't been a, too big of a fan of it just yet. Um, I... But then again, I haven't had a chance to, to use it too much. I'm just going to close it, though. Um, I'm also going to remove this from this layer. Uh, if I can do that, that'd be great. How do I remove this from this layer? Hold on. I know this. The parent. I'm going to remove it from the parent. Oh, geez. What just happened? Nope, keeping it. I guess it that stores a lot of my information, I think. Um, so I'm going to keep that because that screwed everything up. I'm assuming if I save all of these... Um... Okay, well, let's just leave it for now because that completely screwed up everything. Um... I'm wondering if I freeze the transformations on this, if it would be okay. But, you know what, I'm just going to leave it. Right now, everything's working well, uh, so there's no point in me screwing it up. Um, let's go back to my UV editing tools here. Um, let's, go. let's go. Okay, so now we have all of our UVs here. I don't know what this is, though. Let me just figure this out. Oh, I did UV uh, the buttons. I've been neglecting these buttons. So, um, so let's just quickly do that for now. Um, so for faces, let's select these faces. Um, and then let's just unfold, unwrap, they call it here in, um, in Blender. Let's 
Let's go back to the previous year. Now, why is this not... Typically, this works like that, but it's not working right now. So, I don't know what's going on. that on the set faces and then just unwrap Oop, sorry unwrap there we go now I have all these everything should be UV'd what's throwing me off right now is um is I can't see my map right now So I don't know why that's happening. Um, okay, so let's just quickly save this here. Oh, do I have to go like this? No. Okay, so let's just uh, save as, let's go Blender 2. Okay, just in case here. Um, Go new. How's it going, Stoke736, man? How are you doing? Um, okay, let's just new. Just re let's just reopen the scene. I don't know why. Why is this happening? Why do I need to create a brand new one? Let's see here. So let's just redo this. Uh, Grid two. Work on your finals. Have I have I met you before? Okay, see that that didn't do anything. Why did that not do anything? Let me just open and reopen Blender here. Do you mind me asking um, what you're working on for your for your finals? Let me see here. Uh, open recent. Uh, yeah, wh what is going on here? Fault. Image. Let's go with UV grid. Let's go like that. Do I need to apply this material to it? Like, I don't. Like, this is the shitty thing about not knowing. Why is that not applying? Now this is... Am I just being dumb? It's because... No, I thought that was why, but it's not. Material and lighting using Maya. Okay, cool man, nice, nice. Material and lighting. That was, I was supposed to teach that class um, last year. But it's 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 a tough class to teach, man. It's a tough class to teach. Um, this is driving me nuts. And this is goes back to. Um, 
another reason why it's been tough to to switch over to blender because i don't like i don't know how to troubleshoot this uv grid okay oh, okay okay N now it decides to work all right well that's cool let's see here i think i just got a follow what was that let's see where are my logs i don't even know how this works um What is that thing? Streamlabs. Let me see. Someone just followed, I believe. Stoke7376, thank you so much for the follow. Really, really appreciate it, man. I'm assuming you just have me turned on. Um, and then you're just you're just working on, on your stuff. So let's just take these and let's just lay these out. Uh, let's go tools and then let's just uh, pack these islands into here. Uh, I don't know if I like that. That definitely like look at the, the, the pixel density, right? Like that's not. Mm, mm -mm. So let's go um, average island scale. Whoa, there we go. That should make things a little bit more closer and then we'll, we'll pack it. Now that is terrible. Um, what is this? So that's the cord. So the cord right now is what's um, making this really, really bad. So what we can do is we might need to chop this cord up a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's probably what, that's what we're gonna have to do. Um, as for being a teacher, I taught for one semester, and then it was just, it was a lot of work, man. It was, it was tons and tons of work, and, um, um, family came first for me. Uh, so, for me, I, I, it was a little bit too much on my wife to, um, have to take care of our daughter. Um, and so we decided that it was better for me to, um, just uh, finish up the semester and then um, and then uh, yeah so it was unfortunate because I really really enjoyed it but you know family always comes first um, so okay so let's see here so let's uh, unwrap this again okay so I'm, I'm breaking it up so that it packs a little bit nicer so that's what I'm gonna have to do here as well. It's gonna create a little bit more seams, but with Substance Painter, I should be able to do a good job at um, at uh, what's that called? At um, at hiding the seams or, or making it or blending it really, really well. So I'm gonna go and do this right now. Again, I'm a little bit. Like, I'm a lot slower in Blender than I am in Maya, but you guys give me a month of working in here, and I'm going to be flying. Um, obviously, when you compare to me working in Maya for over 10 years um, versus Blender, uh, which has been uh, like a couple days... I can't wait to see um, how fast I'll, I'll get when I uh, when I start getting used to all this. There we go. So now we have all this. We go average scale again, and then we're gonna pack it again. There you go. See, so that's starting to look a lot better uh, for the controller there. Now I'm starting up Premiere Pro for film and society class. Oh, interesting. Premiere Pro. Okay, that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Well, thanks to you, everyone, for um, being in here today um, and just keeping me company while I work. Uh, really, really appreciate it. 
weld stitch um like i feel like like these are packed so tight right like i really wish that there was more options um for the unwrapping because i would love to give it a little bit more padding because that, that's really close to each other like if you can it's a lot of bleeding that can happen um like i wish that there was a little bit more options and maybe there is right so again um not knowing the tools um is what is what really kind of hurts you a little bit here um and i think that's the thing so far that i know about blender is that I'll be working on that very soon. Once I, uh, the question is, when are you going to be working on Substance Painter? I have much to learn on that. Um, I'll be working on it very soon. I mean, the second that I finish UVing, then that's where I'll be on. All right, man, take it easy. I'll see you in a bit. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, let me just see here. There has to be something, right? Um, hold on, guys. Sorry, this is. Search. I'm just googling this right now. Blender, UV, um, packing, um, pixel padding, I guess is what I'd call it. Okay, here we go. So it says that. Oh, so oops. Okay, if I go to unwrap, and if I go to like light map packing, oh, okay. Okay, so if I go, I don't know, um, 1024, pack quality, margin, um, let's go. Jesus, what the hell just happened? That looks so bad. Um, Share texture space. No. Let's try that. What is going on? Select selected mesh object. Pack quality twelve. No, that is not what I want. Self reminder, take a water and toilet break. And again, yeah, if you enjoy the stream, please follow. Okay, so let's go to tools here. Maybe there is something in here. Let's go to options, no. Nope. Miscellaneous. Nope. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's no. Um, let me see. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Hold on here. Okay, so if, oh, okay, let's see, hold on, hold on. If I go to tools. Mesh options, UVs. If we go pack islands. Here we go. If I go pack islands and then I change this margin, 0.1, there you go. Okay. 0 0.01, that gives you a little bit more spacing. All right. This is the perfect time to write this note down. 
okay? So, for all you students out there, okay, I always told my students to take notes, okay? And I use this program called GreenShot, really, really useful. Um, so, uh, this is the UV editing. We go to Pack Islands, and this is where you do your padding. Okay. Uh, what's this called? Um, Blender uh, UV Packing Padding. Okay. And then, so I'm giving you guys some pro tips here. Pro tips. Um, so I'm just going to go uh, Blender um, UV uh, Packing Padding. Okay. And then what I do here is I'll upload that image onto here. Right, so now I have this nice image. Um, cool. And then I have numbers. And so this program I, I use for note taking is Evernote. Um, you can use OneNote or whatever you want to do. Um, so make sure you're in UV editing window. Um, tools. And then uh, UV tools. And then pack islands. Uh, I'm gonna say press it. There we go. Press pack islands. And then um, in 3D view. Um, hopefully you guys can see this. I actually don't know if you can see this or not. Yeah, okay. Just wanted to make sure that you can actually see this. Um, and then here I do in 3D view. Um, what is it? Uh, tools panel. Make sure that you are um, looking at pack islands and adjust margin. Done. Okay. So that's a pro tip. Okay. On taking notes. Um, so I have notes literally on everything. And when I uh, was a student, like that was always a thing that I had to do was constantly write notes so that you never know when something's going to be useful, right? So that was by default right there. Um, so we're just going to go, uh, let's go point zero zero. Nope, let's go point. Nope, that's too much. So I'm going to go point one. Point zero five is not bad. It does give it a decent spacing. So yeah, let's just leave it at that for now. Okay, now I know that I need to be careful with this this tool this tools thing. Pretty handy. So um, now I know Blender likes to do that. Okay, so I have uh, this in there. So, again, um, I'm going to be in Substance Painter very soon. I'm just going to be finishing up the UVs, and then I'll be in Substance Painter. Okay, so let's get out of... Let's move on to um, the cartridge. So the cartridge, pretty good, pretty well packed here, if I had to say. So, uh, but let's give it a little bit more spacing. Again, it's a little bit tight. So just to give it more spacing. Um, it seems like it remembers my settings. Uh, let's just go point one. Okay. Um, so let's do that. Um, There we go. So that's good. All right. So 
So I'm gonna have three textures on this, and I'll probably be working in 2K, and then I'll be bringing it down um, to optimize it a little bit more. How's the sound, by the way? I don't, I don't know. Oh, whoa, my music just died. Hold on, give me one second here. There we go. Um, yeah, let me know how the sound, how the sound is, how the music is, how my voice is. Um, if it's too loud, if it's too, if anything's too loud or off, just let me know. Please and thank you. Really appreciate it. And again, if you enjoyed the stream, make sure you press a follow. I know Stokes, you have already. Thank you so much for, um, for the support. The goal is to hit 50 followers because that's what it takes to um, hit one of the goals to become an affiliate on Twitch. Um, I would love that to happen. Okay, so let's get back to default here. Enough uh, uh, selling out for a sec. Let's uh, quickly take a look at all of these things here. I'm going to select hierarchy and we're going to control J to join. I don't think that works. Um, no, it doesn't actually work. So let's select everything. Um, so, it so let's select everything that's inside here. Alright, let's just control J. Control J. So it's just one object now. And this object is, um... And then let's go to 50 followers. You get what? 50 followers is just one of the requirements to become a Twitch affiliate. Uh, Twitch affiliate is just an essentially you you finally get to make money from Twitch. Essentially, um, it's very little. It's just like it's just like the first step before you become a partner. Essentially, um, so 50 followers is one of the requirements. And then there's like three other things that you have to do. Um, and I'll be honest with you guys, I'm like nowhere close to the other three things. Um, but 50 followers, I think I'm actually pretty close to that. So thank you all for um, for helping out with that. Uh, okay, so let's go back to UVs, UV edit. Oh, no, not video editing. Um, I don't know. I'd have to take a look. Um, uh, stream for eight hours for the last 30 days. Stream for seven unique days in the last 30 days. And have three average viewers in the last 30 days. So, um, I'm getting closer to 50 followers. Uh, stream for eight hours. I'm getting pretty close to that, actually. Um, streaming for seven unique days in the last 30 days. I'm actually getting pretty close to that as well um, The last one is the hard one uh, Which is uh, making sure that you have three average viewers all the time while you're streaming that is that has been the tough challenge so far but I think um, You know it, with time it's, it's gonna it's gonna happen um, as long as people enjoy the content and um then, then people are going to come to watch. So, um, you know, it, it takes time. All right, so I'm just going to do the same thing here. Average scale, and then I'm going to pack the islands. And uh, there you go. I'm going to take a look at this one, though. This one looks a little bit fishy here. Like, why does it look like that? Like, I can probably clean this up a little bit more. So, I'm going to clean this up a little bit more. Sorry. Um, I know you wanted to come and see. Um, but I, I feel like this is prob. I can easily make this uh, a lot nicer for me to get better seams. And again, I mean, this isn't that important because it's the inside. No one's really going to see this. Um, so, I shouldn't spend too much time on it. But... Um, Just uh, do this again. Let's go and uh, unwrap and then pack this bad boy. See, that made it a lot better. I'm just gonna take a look at all of these here because I'm just like, why does this look so so nasty? And see if I can make better seams for things. So, like, 
Like this. I'm curious about this. Like, what's that? Right? And this is... The inside of that. I'll be honest with you, I don't really care about that. That's pretty minor. Um, how about this one? What's this one? This one looks pretty gross. So, I want to kind of see this. Oh, it's this one. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even UV these. Jeez. Okay. So let's quickly UV those before we call it done here. Um, that's why it's looking pretty gross. Um, and same with this one. So let's um, so let's go and do that. Uh, there's my Nightbot. Nightbot's going to work. Um, I should probably not have that run so often, so that people don't get annoyed. Um, okay, so first off, let's go back here. Um, let's, uh, go to default. And... So I think I had combined all these together. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use something that I learned um, today, which is the separation tool. And I'm going to make sure that I have this on so I can actually select everything. Select everything, go to control V, and then I'm going to s separate and I'm going to lose parts, okay? So that has been like a life-changing thing for me. Um, So yeah, so now I'm going to go back to UV editing. Oh no, what happened? Why are you dying on me? Um, what happened to my UV editor? Come on, don't do this to me. Oh my god. Well, I don't even know what happened. Um, UV editing. UV, oh my god, there it is. Let's see here, okay. Um, yeah, there's no way to center um, to center your your texture, or whatever, which is really, really weird. Um, okay, so let's just hold on. Can I just focus on this? Thank you. Um, so let's turn the, that off. And let's um, go to edit here. And let's uh, add edges. Right, mark scene. What's going on here? Some wacky business going on here. Did I accidentally shift select these? No, nope. I don't think I cleaned this one up very well. So let's go to vertices and let's start doing some welding. Um, let's just align the snapping target. Let's just go like this. Let's snap vertices. And let's uh, weld. So let's go here. This should make things um, snap a lot easier. What's going on here? Come on.
Response. What's response? Sorry, I uh, didn't see your message there. Oh, <laughs> it's all good, man. It's all good. Yeah, Blender has been one heck of a learning experience the past couple days. But uh, it's been good. It's been it's been a good learning experience. Um, it humbles you a little bit. Um, learning new software, it just kind of. Um, I'm not too sure if you saw this message. This sto stoic. I don't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or not. Um, but I was just wondering how is my volumes and stuff like that. How's sound? Um, music, sound, all that stuff. How, how's it? How's it looking? <clears throat> All right, let's go to UVs here. Let's unwrap this bad boy. Let's go tools. Let's um, unwrap this. Okay, that doesn't look right. Oh, that's why. Um, what's going on there? probably why I have to make sure I have all this and then unwrap like that there we go now let's oh okay oops uh, let's turn this back off um, edge let's um, mark these and then mark seam there you go um, turn this back on faces unwrap unwrap there we go um, what else is there? I need to also, um, do this as well. I'm just going to do that. Um, edges. I'm going to cut these. Mark seam. Like that. Unwrap. Done. Oh, shoot. Oops. I got to remember to turn this on. Here we go. Uh, your voice audio is a little low. What's the DB on it? Probably have it on the common volume. You're not gonna animate this, right? No, I'm definitely not animating this. Um, okay, so my voice is low. So let's see here. So if I bump this, if I bump that up, if I bump that up, hopefully that's okay. Hopefully it's better. Let me know if that let me know if that sounds better. Um okay, so then UV Oh my god, dude. Why does this always happen? UV grid. Five, there we go. Why does this happen? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Why can you not just work? There we go. Test, 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 test. Mic check one two. Mic check one two. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. There you go. Okay, that's good. That's good. Good to know. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Okay. So we got that. Now we got to go in UV these ones as well. Um, so let's go and select. Yeah, then once I s finish uh, UVing this stuff, then I'll throw things into Substance Painter. And then we'll see how long I can last uh, streaming. Four. Uh, okay. Okay. So let's go in. Let's quickly do this here. 
uh, now that I've done this a couple times already, um, shouldn't be too difficult here. Um, Mark seams. Substance Painter right now is also on sale. Again, I'm not, I'm not, I don't work for the uh, algorithmic or anything, but um, I actually waited until the sale hit before I jumped on and bought it. So it's definitely a good time to purchase it if you're um, if you're serious about 3D animation and you wanna get in some texturing or wanna a program that's gonna help you do PBR a lot easier. Definitely highly recommend it. It's uh, pretty much in industry standard at this point. Faces, uh, unwrap, Let's see, perfect, cool, there we go, cool, let's go here, shift, um, tab, grid, edge, we'll grab these edges, So I didn't really do a good job at cleaning up some of these polys. I'm noticing this right now. Um, so I'm going to have to go in and clean them. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go to vertices. And I'm just going to snap all these together here. Um, because this is uh, not very clean. go faces select everything unwrap Ooh, what's going on there what's this did I not cut it hmm what's this one ah let's uh, delete face there we go now let's unwrap this there all right almost the time you've been waiting for well what is going on here not game logic I don't want game logic I want default let's quickly save this for now um, and then let's go and combine all of these objects now what's really annoying the fact that I can't just... Did that work? I don't know if that worked or not. Let's go Control J. Nope. Like, I wish I can just... The fact that I have to go in and select these individually... It's something that's really annoying. I don't know how to... How to... Shift select things in here. I don't, know, I don't even know if that's a thing or not. Let's just call this uh, SNES console. Something like that. Um, then sure, we'll leave that for now. Okay, so now we have all of this joined into one. Let's go back to UV editing tools. Let's go to editing. Let's go average islands again, pack islands, and. There we have it. And let's just quickly take a look at everything to make sure that I don't have any nasty islands. Like this one's a little bit nasty. I want to see where this is. So that's there. 
Do I not have a seam somewhere? I don't have a seam, so... Um, so again, this is why it's so important to um, check these things. Um, so, mark seam. Did I mark it? No. Mark seam. Right. So it's good to kind of go in there and check these things, right? Like, this is pretty nasty, too. What is this? Um, where is that? So that's back here. Okay, well, these aren't... Well, that... This is why. This is... This is why this is so important to do these type of things. Um... Because, yeah, I mean, you're going to start to see all these bad... Uh, these bad mistakes that I'm making here. So let's just quickly... Um, go and select all these again. Sorry. And I'm just going to vert. Um, control V, separate loose parts. And I'm just going to go in and fix all these issues here. Um, tab. And um, turn on the grid. And let's start. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. But at this point, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, edges. Um, so we go. That. I'm going to. there. Um, gonna make some seams. Make a seam there, I think. And then we will So let's go. Uh, let's go face. Hold on, I'm just gonna mute this quickly here. this and then unwrap let's see okay not bad um it created a seam there not a bad seam not the best seam though so i'm gonna go back to here and just kind of edit where i want the seam um clear the seam here i'm gonna go I'm just gonna make this a little bit more friendly for the projection. Uh, mark seam. And then that should help it out quite a bit. Face. Um, let's be able to select it all. And then let's go to UVs and let's just unwrap. Boom. There we go. Perfect. Uh, cool. Now let's go to this one. Uh, we'll go here. Let's go to the grid. Edges. Alright, let's go like that. Let's add a seam here. Mark seam. Uh, faces unwrap there we go another thing done back here let's quickly save this before anything blows up on me and um, let's continue going on here um, Let's try the smart UV project. Oh, there's island margins here too. Oh, wow. Let's see how that does here. Um, not bad. 
Not bad, not bad. Um, did a pretty decent job. But, okay. Did an okay job. Um, not a huge fan of where I put some of the seams. But at least now I know um, what it's thinking. So do you like these seams that I made? Um, I'm gonna hide some of these seams. Uh, mark edges. And then I'm gonna go faces, grab it all. Unwrap. What did it just unwrap? Mark seam. Clear sharp. There you go. That's that's why. That's why. Whoops. That was my fault. Um my fault again. Uh, edges. Let's go here. Mark seam. Faces. And let's reproject this here. There we go. Beauty. Almost done. Almost done. Oh my god. Okay, let's there's a bunch of faces back here that I don't need. I'm just gonna delete these faces. Um, questionable if I even need uh, these faces here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I need those faces or not. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Cool. Got to save some polys. That's great. Face here. Let's go here. UV grid. Um, let's go and um, go edges. Let's create some. Oops. And then let's uh, go faces, select all, unwrap. There we go. Okay, I think we are done. Um, almost done. Let's quickly, like, is there a way for me to drag all of these? Like, I just, you know what I mean? Like, just drag select in my outliner. There has to be. Hold on, let me just, hold up, hold up. There has to be a way. Um, drag, select, blender, outliner. Select, select, screw the logic, make one, draw hand, da da da. Shift, multiple selects, objects, and. I see. You just drag it. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Now what happened? But now I can't. Oh no. Okay, how about now? Can 
I do that? Let me see. I don't think this actually selects it though. Right? Like, I don't actually notice that it's being selected. No. So that doesn't work. Bad advice. So B... Did that actually select anything? I think it actually did. Control J? No. Doesn't actually do anything. Okay. Okay, abort. Okay, so let's just select these individually. Like I have been. J, there we go. Let's not go. There we go. UV editing. Tab. Select it all. Average. Pack islands. There you go. Okay, so now let's do one more quick go here on what's. Okay, so what's going on here? So did this not save? Okay, hold on. This is looking really weird. What happened here? Did I not unpack this? Let me unwrap this. There we go. Okay. Um, let's go edges. Let me just quickly run this here. Okay. So I apologize because this I thought I would be able to um, do some subs. I mean, I might be able to set it up quickly. I didn't, I was not expecting to have so many errors uh, with my UVs. Again, using a new software is, um, can be tough, um, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see if I can get this um, looking decent here. Uh, what's going on back here? Okay, so that is looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. What's this over here? Okay, that's the inside. Don't really care for that. What I can do is to make it nicer, I can just... Alright, dude. Thank you so much, man. Take it easy, Stokes. And thank you so much for the follow again. Really appreciate it. Hopefully, you get to catch me another time. Uh, it's not weld. Stitch. No, definitely not stitch. What's the other one? Um, mark is a seam. You want to cut it, right? not weld like what's the cut UVs bun like I don't even know what that is that's what's so weird about this thing um, that's okay um, edge this let's just again um, mark seam mark 
seam. Box seam. So just like this, like that, unwrap it. There we go. Let's just go average pack, done deal. Again, just going back and just making sure that everything looks correct here. That there's no oddities anywhere. Um, everything looks a lot better now. Everything makes sense. Okay, cool. Okay, so now... Um, pack Islands. I just find it so weird how it's like different every single time. Like to see how well this thing did it this time, right? Like why why is it so different? Um, it's just so weird. I okay, so. So I'm wondering if I could just go like this, pack islands, go point. That's pretty good. Let's save this. And then let's uh, export everything out. Okay, so we got... Export FBX. one meshes what am I exporting right now uh, the console so let's export out the console export FBX export the console meshes body real done controller is next controller export FBX and then the cartridge. There we go. Let's put all that stuff. Alright, save. Now let's see how this all... Like, it obviously didn't like any of that. Because everything has now changed. Because I've um, bumped everything up. So let's just quickly... Oh! Cartridge, smooth this up. Let's put this back into where it needs to be. Something like that. Whoa, what's going on here? I have two. that what is going on here um, I'm 
Okay, so let, let's just remove all this. Let's just take this one step at a time. So all of these have... Okay, this is really odd. Okay, well this is... One thing that I don't like about Blender, I guess. Um, okay, so let's just remove these for now. Um, if we go to Mesh, I'm going to get rid of these parents. Uh, right, I'm just going to remove these parents. Um, ah, but I can't. It screws up everything. Um, okay, I'm just going to take a screenshot of the transforms that it has here. And I'm just going to... I'm just gonna get rid of these these parents. Remove these parents, and I'm just going to. So this is the console. It's uh, needs to be point zero one. Uh, point zero one. Point zero one, and then scale on the X is ninety. Okay, there we go just because again it was just doing lots of weird stuff okay and then this needs to be moved up to zero okay cool and then I'm gonna freeze all these transforms which I think is control a I think um, bam done okay and then this one will do the same thing, I believe. Cartridge, 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 which is this one. I think it's the same thing. Yep, so I'm just gonna kill it. Point zero one. One. So one. Rotate to the 90. And I'm gonna freeze the trans. Freeze all of its. Control Alt A, um, all transform data is. Yep, and this is the cartridge, so SNES cartridge. There we go. And then this is the controller. Uh, what's this one? Hi. Delete that. This is controller. We're going to do the exact same thing. Where'd it go? Okay, yeah, so we move it. Yeah. Point zero one. One. Point zero one. Let's move it there. Ninety. There you go. Freeze all the transforms. There you go. Uh, I'm gonna take this, remove that, delete, delete, done. There we go. Locators, delete all that stuff. All right, now we have a nice, fresh looking scene. Let's see if this helps with um, exporting stuff out nice and clean. What is this? Hold on. Controller first. Controller. Okay, console next. Console. Cartridge. Done. Okay. Let's just go here. What is going on here? Why is that still happening? SNES, SNES. Hmm. So why is this still happening? Um. Export FBX. Operators presets. Let me just see here. Main. 
selected objects. Mm, that's why. Okay. So I gotta make sure selected objects is on. Okay. So let's so let's that's why. Okay. So let's go SNES cartridge. Selected objects. Um, cartridge. Let's try that. Let's try this instead. Um, export SNES console. Controller. Okay, so now, there we go. There we go. Okay, yep. Yeah, so that's what I need to do. Some cleanliness. Why can't I try? Has this always been the case? Okay, so I'm also going to write a note on that for exporting in... So make sure that you have these settings correct. So I'm just going to write some notes here. Okay. Let's go one. So select what you want. Go to my or file, export FBX. Just go Blender. Okay, then after that, you're gonna get this. Make sure you have selected objects. Geometry, apply modifiers, animation. I don't really mess around with any of this stuff, so. Um, but the most important thing in this field is. Um, so just make sure that. Selected objects is in there, and then export. There we go. Export zero zero. There we go. Um, and then I'm gonna go to my Evernote here. Add a new note. Blender FBX export settings. And then I'm going to throw in my two images here. Alright, so select um, object in outliner. Um, go to file, export, FBX, and then from here, um, in check box, selected objects. Um, and then export, and export FBX. Cool. And a lot of people are probably like, why are you even writing notes on this stuff? And honestly, it's one of those things where like, if, if I don't, if I'm not in Blender, like, for a, a week or something, because I'm, because I'm in, um, Substance Painter, it's so easy to forget these things, right? So, um, so that's why. Okay, so, um, let's see here. What, what was I doing? Um, did I save this? I think I did. So I saved that. Um, kill green shot. And let's go to, um, Marmoset. Let's set this all up again. Cartridge here. Cartridge. 
should see about three three lines and then let's put in There we go. Now let's take a look at all my cameras, make sure everything's still good. Um, I don't know if that's correct or not. Like, all these look all messed up now, to be honest with you guys. Um, like, that probably looks a little bit more right. This camera looks really bad now. These look pretty decent. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to adjust this camera here. There we go. Lock the camera up. Three, it's fine. Two. I'm gonna have to unlock this one and try to mess, play around with this one a little bit more. Like the controllers, the controllers, not it's like yeah, I think that's probably a lot better. So let's go to camera two, I think. Camera two here. Uh, let's just kind of give this a better look here. Try that. So camera one. I still feel like cam camera one, I think, lost some of its flair. So I think that's going to be good. Um, camera four looks good now. Camera five. Um, let me just back this up a little bit. There we go. Cool. save this scene all right um, I don't even know what half the stuff is let me delete some of these um, delete these Lambert's holy cow these all these I don't think I need any of this stuff NES Everything's just in the default. Save. Perfect. Cool, cool, cool. Um, again, it sucks because I can't actually like take a take a render of this, and um, and then throw it onto my Twitter or whatever because it looks exactly the same as when I started uh, or the work that I've done the past couple of few days or whatever um, just because again I've been UVing um, so it's a little bit unfortunate um, but it is what it is um, all right all right well hey thank you so much for all hanging out with me sorry that this had to be a short stream um, and I'm sorry uh, Stoics um, sorry I'm probably butchering your name um, 7376 uh, for not being able to put this in Substance Painter, but at least now I know for sure the next thing I'm gonna be doing is Substance Painter. Um, UVs are done, hopefully, fingers crossed. But um, yeah, so hopefully you enjoy the stream. If you like it, 
Make sure you press the follow button, and um, I'll see you guys all again next time. Alright, peace out.